when our products are sold in over 90 countries uh, worldwide and uh, Umbro represent, represents more than 40 brands. Uh, some major football uh, clubs like Everton, West Ham and uh, countries like Canada and Peru. In its association with Manchester City, the, uh, in its, uh, the club won its uh, FA Cup after 25 years. Umbro also has consistently been sponsoring the Canadian women's national team for over five years. The Canadian women's national team has been successful in their competitions. They made it to the quarterfinals in the World Cup in 2015. They got third place in the last two Olympic Games. And they were the champions for the CONCACAF in 2010, which is the North America, Central America, and Caribbean Association of Soccer. And when they signed with Umbro in 2011, Canadian Soccer stated, Umbro will contribute to the development of all levels of soccer in Canada, from the community to the national teams. From there on out, it's proven that Umbro has been successful with the sponsorship as they continue to sponsor them today. In 2013, Umbro was purchased by Iconix uh, in a multi-million deal. Iconix is a US-based company that owns brands such as Peanuts, Rockaware, and Startup. This deals bring new opportunity for us to enter the US market and promote and develop the game of soccer in the United States. These are two other successful marketing campaigns that Umbro has run in the past years. The first is a jersey launch where they put a the New England national team's jersey on the lead singer of an English rock band called Kasabian. And not only did he just wear this jersey, but he wore it in Paris, which created attention for Umbro worldwide and for the team. It highlighted how football and culture can come together under one banner. And this was the first time that they used this sort of technique to get um, jerseys out. Using variations like this will improve the popularity of the U.S. Women's National Team and the sport of soccer itself by using creative ways to get their jerseys out and new updates. This one is a digital manifesto, as they called it, and it's the Bring It On campaign. What they did here was they reached out to the community and fans and players, and they asked them to send in videos of themselves playing soccer, their favorite tricks, watching soccer games. It included the community in making the video, so that was a big deal, and it kept fans engaged with the sport and the brand. They wanted to celebrate the passion of all of the fans and the players, and with all of these videos, they uh, put them all together in a compilation and used it as an advertisement for their brand. The U.S. Women's National Team can benefit from this type of video campaign to connect with the technologically savvy community that they're now reaching out to and really bring the whole community together and grow the passion for the sport of soccer. As a brand, we understand that the mission of the U.S. Women's Soccer Federation is to make soccer more prominent and uh, continue the development of soccer at all the recreational and competitive level. By doing different market camp campaigns and fan engagement, we want to help you achieve that. Just as Kushal just said, one of the U.S. missions is to make soccer the permanent sport in the United States. To do this, the U.S. team needs the support of the entire American community. We understand that this support was not received recently through a controversy with Nike and their jersey release. The community had a very negative reaction towards these jerseys as they were felt to not represent the American flag at all. And obviously, as the United States national team, you need to re represent the American pride and the community in which you're playing for. Um, with Umbro wanting to connect with soccer and culture through their mission, which is making football and culture collide. Umbro understands the importance in reversing these reactions and maintaining the support of all of the United States and its fans. Umbro takes pride in the culture of diversity. Uh, on the eve of World Cup in South Africa, uh, Umbro celebrated English diversity and pride with this printed version of the national anthem. 
So where football and culture collide, this was Umbro's mission. And these are reasons why we believe that Umbro will perfectly represent the United States women's national team. It understands the importance of culture and will develop the pride of the United States women's national team and the United States as a whole. This will drive a positive brand image regarding the representation of the United States, as you can see with the videos of the England national anthem that br brings the community together and that built a pride for the English teams while they were traveling to South Africa. So Umbro knows that they can bring the entire community together under one roof. Uh, Umbro will use marketing campaigns to keep fans engaged with the U.S. Women's National Team. This will grow the passion for both the team itself and the entire sport of soccer. And this will popularize the sport, increase, increasing the size of the original fan base. Ultimately, a large fan base will create a larger number of individuals wanting to play soccer and being involved in the games. And this will ultimately benefit the young developmental teams, which co-aligns with the United States Women's National Team mission of making soccer the permanent sport and developing both recreationally and competitive teams.